This is a video demonstration of the BTU Paramax 100N. This video will come in three segments. The first segment is this one, just shows you the system powered up with all the skins, all the covers on the unit. The second one will be of the system with all the skins off and we'll do a tour of the unit looking inside all the different features and functions of the system. See we have the conveyor actually running right now. The final segment will be showing the unit powered up, coming to temperature, and all the green lights suggesting that the system is fully functional. This is the back of the unit. The unit is very, very clean. Has low run time on it. and is fully operational. Continuing on with the video demonstration of the Pyramax, we've taken all the skins off of the system so we can look inside and get a better idea as, as to the cleanliness and options of the system. That is the serial number. SPEMA cables on the left for the SPEMA option. The tank for the auto oiler. PC. This is the UPS backup option. This machine has auto width, so this is the mechanism that, that drives all the auto width screws. This machine has the double onboard cooling option. The machine was fully PM before we received it, so you can see how very clean the radiators are and the drip pans. There's nothing in the drip pans. Same thing on this side. Filters have all been cleaned and, and, and or replaced. Undo the lock on the right side if you want to pull that out. You can see the filter on this side, how clean it is. Same thing up top, they clean, fully clean the full cooling section. The rail hangers have all been cleaned and PM'd. They use the proper grease.
obviously that's the reflow section right there. Again, everything is very clean. And, uh, all right, let's go around to the other side now. Gas flow meters for the nitrogen option. SMEMA cable for the exit end for the SMEMA option. Here you can see the sensor for the board tracking option. This machine has its original manual. You can see by the serial number that's listed in here from BTU. Also has its original software disk. Schematics are included in the manual. So this is the onboard chiller option. You can look up here. This is these are the radiators for the onboard chiller option. The white thing is the tank there for the water. And then this also this machine also has the uh, flux management option. That's what this unit is here. We've had this apart. All the filters are brand new. Everything's been cleaned, fully PM'd. It's just as clean as the uh, the cooling sections that we showed earlier. This is the electrical cabinet for the machine, Pyramax controller. This machine has uh, variable blower speeds, so it has the closed loop static pressure system that detects pressure in the zones and you can set that so it'll adjust the blower speeds that's what those power flex units are serial tag that's the build sheet with all the options from BTU Is the light tower option. The machine also has the onboard uh, profile ports. Most people profile with RF devices, but should you want to profile with cables, you can. And next we'll show that all of the measurable functions are operational and that includes all blowers uh, coming up to temperature but this is a detailed look at the system with the skins off with the oven cavity closed uh, but the hoods up we are now going to demonstrate that all zones are heating and conveyors is moving as well as the width adjust also works let us show you what we've done with the heating zones all right we've just got a, a kind of a mid temperature ramp here starting at 100 in zone one and we come across and then we start heading up in the reflow zones all the way up to 175. We're limited to 60 amps of power on our high voltage line here and we're only using 10 gauge wire. So this is about the most we can do without stressing that circuit to the point that it would probably uh, pop the breaker. But it shows that all the heat, the zones are heating and controlling. You can see with the set point set to 12 holding 12 and then the conveyor speed is on the bottom right there we've got it set at 28 inches per minute and it's holding 28 inches per minute so the machine is it's in ready which means it would be ready to process at these temperatures the light tower is green representing that to the operator so all set points are at their program set point and within tolerance. 
we're gonna change the width. Right now we're at 12. We're gonna change it to six inches of width, and then um, you'll be able to see it come into the new set point. I'm gonna walk down to the end of the reflow oven, where we'll be able to get our best look at both the conveyor functioning and the width changing. Certainly hope you can see this. That back rail is moving in. And you'll also notice that the chain is in a ready and moving position. It is a slow progress, but it is indeed narrowing. Again, all the skins are off, so we can really show all aspects of the system as if you were here. Give you a real feel for the cleanliness and the complete operation of the system.